So I got these new mouse traps here. I figured I'd give them a shot. These are traps that the, the mice will go into the hole here, and they um, spring the trap, and it basically twists and closes. Um, so you, you catch the mouse. It's got a um, it's got a, a, an indicator whether it's been sprung and been set properly. Um, now they were expensive, and they uh, they're supposed to not be reusable. So uh, I bought them because, uh, you know, I don't mind the regular mouse traps for, you know, for the garage and all that with the spring traps. But the, uh, these ones, uh, we've been having some, some mice in the, in the cabinets and the, the silverware drawer, which, uh, you know, that's not a good place to have your mice uh, pooping all over the place. So I, uh, so I got these because that way, you know, the spring traps can get kind of bloody and gross and stuff. So I got these because the, they contain the thing. But, uh, you know, for the, for the money, I think these were $9 for the pair. And for the money, I, I figured I, I wanted to take them apart and see how I could how I could reuse it. Um, this one here has caught in two mice already. This one here I just haven't put in a good enough spot to catch any yet. So uh, when, you, when you catch the mouse, it's, you know, the indicator comes back to not set. And, uh, and you can feel the weight difference. You can't see the mouse. This is for people that can't... Um, you know, they can't stomach seeing a mouse, you know, dead and whatever. So, um, you know, it's for people like that, I guess. But um, basically what you do is, in here, you can see the indication where there's hollow. Um, and that's that's what I, I broke that out on this one here. Um, and basically you put a screwdriver in the spring to release it. out just remember the direction that the spring went in because there's only one way you can do it and, and have it work so then the, the, that releases the cover the top cover so basically what you see is when you open it up your mouse will be in here crushed crushed up against that um, so on the inside cover you see this bar here and basically that springs around comes around like that and snaps the mouse against that it kind of wedges it in there, must break his neck or whatever. But the two mice that I had, they were they were killed. Um, you know, didn't, no blood, no nothing in them. They were just dead. And um, so I opened it up, shook it out into the trash, and uh, and I reset these. Um, basically, they don't have poison in them too. That's the other thing that I wanted for the ones in the in the kitchen cabinets. I just figured there's no need to have poison in the kitchen cabinets. So basically, you put the peanut butter in the in the cover here, to reseal it. And to put this back together, all you do is you put this in here. It's got two tabs. And it's hard to do it with one hand, but there we go. It's got the two tabs here. And I don't actually know what springs this. I don't know if it's if it's when it hits this, when the mouse comes across in here and hits the red thing, if that if that triggers it, or if he noses underneath it to get the, pine, uh, the peanut butter. I imagine that's more what it is. It probably releases the, the, the other, you know, whatever this is locked against, which is probably that tab there. Um, releases that, causing the spring to come by. Um, so then to put it back together again, you have that set. And you put this, it's hard to see it here, but with this tab, so you want this to be back on the, on the beginning part. Make sure it snaps all the way in, so that's recessed. And basically, you'll see the you'll see the opening. Now the drawback on this is that it's the opening is pretty small, uh, so you're only going to catch mice. You're not going to catch any um, any um, anything bigger than that. Uh, no no chipmunks or red or anything. So that is the drawback. But the nice thing is is that you're not going to get um, in dead rats in your in your walls after they die. Um, things like that you don't have to worry about uh, you know pets eating the poison and you know reaching into your silverware drawer and snapping snapping your finger on a real mouse trap <laughs> so so basically that's that and if I can if I can reset it I don't know if I can do it with just one hand but you just you just basically twist it until it uh, until it locks in into the set position and the spring the tension on the spring holds it holds it together 
So for nine dollars now, I figured out that you can re you can reuse these. A uh, little bit of little bit of um, ingenuity uh, and a little bit of time to take it apart. And, uh, and that's it. So so now I have my my indoor interior mouse traps. I'll call these my interior mouse traps, and uh, and that way I can have the, these inside and the other ones outside. So yeah, so when you see these for eight bucks, eight or nine dollars, whatever they are, uh, and 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 you do catch your mouse, you can definitely reuse them. And uh, like I said, I have caught two of that one already, and uh, they're going to be rebated and put back out today. So there you go, quick little, quick little tip for you. Thanks.